Blessed, blessed, good day. Welcome to Miss Tamari Daily Mood Podcast Live. Blessed love to you. Yes, you's watching me right now. Are you me attack? I hope everything is good. And if everything is not fine with you, just keep on hoping for the best because you have to hope for something and you got to have a positive mindset, right? No matter what challenges you're facing right now in your life, just hope for the best and trust God, right? Yes, rely on God, not relying on yourself, but relying on God to strengthen strengthen you right yes let me pray father in the mighty name of Jesus I thank you Jehovah God for your unconditional love that you continue to show us on a daily basis father Jehovah God I don't know who's watching me right now father father in the name of Jesus whatever challenges they're going through father whether mentally physically psychologically or emotionally father I pray oh God that you renew their strength father I pray oh God that you renew their mindset in the name of Jesus Jehovah God I know we're imperfect people forgive us for our sins in Jesus mighty name Amen. Yes, amen indeed. Welcome to Miss Tamari Daily Mood Podcast Live. And today, Daily Mood topic is challenges. Yes, you's watching me right now. You might be going through challenges right now in your life. Right? Yes, whatever that challenge is. Right? Whether mentally, physically, psychologically, or emotionally. Right? Keep on hoping for the best. Trust in God. Let your trust be in God. Right? To help you to overcome the challenges that you're facing in your life right now. Right? You might do something and you fail at it. Right? God is saying to you, don't give up. Keep on hoping. Keep on trust in God. Let your trust be in God. Rely on God, right, to strengthen you, right, in this challenge, in, in the challenges that you're going through right now in your life, right? Yes, because guess what? We're li not living in a perfect world, and we're going to face with obstacles in our lives. We're going to fail at things, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to give up. No, it means uh, that you need to keep on going because you're doing something right, right yes because challenges right is is, is is when you're going through challenges right that mean that you're on the right track that mean you're on the right track because you're not perfect right yes so you're going to face with challenges in your life but even though you're facing with challenges in your life don't you dare give up keep on pushing forward keep on going on that rugged road of life right yes and just hope for the best because when you have hope in something right and when you have a positive mindset you're going to have a positive outcome because your mind have to be right right yes your mind got to be right yes you's watching me right now no matter the struggles that you're going through right now no matter the challenges you're facing whether physically psychologically or emotionally don't give up keep on hoping right yes keep on pushing forward keep on going on that rugged road of life right with a positive mindset you're going to have a positive outcome in divine timing because everything every situation every challenges right is in divine order right so when you have that hope right for a better outcome you're going to have a better better outcome yes you's watching me right now so whatever your challenge is in life right now just hope for the best and trust god right yes i have a scripture and it comes from i john 16 verse 33 that's john 16 verse 33 and it says in the world you will have tribulation Take heart, I have overcome the world. So what is the scriptures of John 16 verse 33 is saying to you today? Yes, he was watching me right now. It is saying to you, right, that you see, Jesus was walking the face of the earth and he faced with a lot of tribulation in his life, challenges in his life. But what Jesus did, he hoped in Jehovah. He trusts God. He trusts his Father. He trusts his Heavenly Father to, to overcome the tribulation and challenges in his life. Right? Yes. And he said in John 16 verse 33, Jesus said, Listen, I went through a lot of tribulation while I was here on earth. Right? But take heart. He already overcome it by trusting God, right? By hoping in God, right? That God will help him to overcome the challenges and the tribulation in his life. Likewise, you's watching me right now. You got to hope in God. You got to trust God, right? Yes, because Jesus already conquered the world. And likewise, you will conquer, right? Same way, you will conquer the challenges that you're facing right now. You might be looking at your, your, your physical situation with the challenges that you're facing, with the tribulation that you're going through. But now watch that, right? Just keep on hoping for the best, 
right? Keep on hoping for a better outcome and have a positive mindset and trust God first and foremost because Jesus already conquered it all and likewise you will watch me. The challenges that you're going through right now, the obstacles that you're facing right now, the tribulation that you're going through right now, the failure of life that you're going through right now, you will overcome it all because Jesus already conquered it and likewise you are going to overcome it and you're going to conquer it in divine timing, right? Because everything is in divine order. So trust Jehovah God today, right? Yes, use watching me right now. I wanted to read the scriptures of John 16 verse 33 for yourselves and meditate on that scripture and apply it in your life. I'm also going to read Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 and it says, do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in christ jesus so what is the scriptures of philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 is saying to you today it is saying to you don't be anxious about, you know, the challenges, the tribulation that you're going through, right? Don't be anxious because you fail at something, right? Yes, don't be, you know, be anxious because you're going through so much challenges in your life, right? Yes, but in every situation, in every challenges that you're going through, let your petition be made known to God. Tell God, you know, about your situation, right? Yes, and he will help you to overcome because we can't do it all by ourselves. So the challenges that you're going through right now, let your petition be made known to God. Tell God what's going on in your life and he will help you to overcome because we cannot do it all by ourselves. We need Jehovah God intervention in our challenges, in our situation in life, right? So use watching me right now. Don't be anxious about nothing, but let your petition be made known to God and he will help you to overcome it all. Just like how he helped Jesus when Jesus was walking the face of the earth, likewise, God will help you, child of God who is watching me, sons of God who is watching me, daughters of God who is watching me right now. Know that the challenges that you're going through, the obstacles that you're facing right now, the tribulation that you're going through right now, God will help you to overcome it just like how he helped Jesus to overcome overcome it all right yes God will help you so just let your petition be made known to God today and don't be anxious about anything at all but let your petition be made known to Jehovah God and God will help you to overcome it all right yes I want you to read the scriptures of Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 for yourselves and meditate on that scripture and apply it in your life today right yes use what you may right now let your petition be made known to God. Let your challenges and your obstacles, you know, be made to God, right? Whether it's physical, psychologically, and emotionally, right? Just let it be known to God. When you let God know what's going on in your life, right? Yes, he will help you to overcome it all, right? Yes, don't face the challenges all by yourself. Throw it all on God, right? And he will help you to overcome just like we make, you know, Jesus overcome it, right? Likewise, you will overcome all the challenges that you're facing in life, all the obstacles that you're facing in life, all the tribulation that you're facing in life. In divine timing, God will help you to overcome it all. So just keep on hoping for the best and have a positive mindset because when you're mind is positive you will have a positive outcome yes use watching me right now this message is for you right yes i pray you have a blessed day and may the good lord bless each and every one one love thank you